number 11, Danny Arciga, will take the, the free kick. High curve. I just went right above the crossbar there with yep. the wind carrying it. So it looks like we have our first substitution. Number 18, Alfredo Herrera coming in. Who is it for number 25? Gael. For Gael. Gael is an interesting player for us. He's a, a tall player with good ball handling skills, and he's just a freshman too, so he made varsity, and he started the game today, so a uh, promising player for the Cardinals in the future. Yeah, absolutely. It's always good. Oh, and the Warriors get there, but Owen Heath is able to intercept the ball and sends it, sends it away, away from their territory. So. And Owen's been dealing with a little ankle injury, but... He's still trying to go on it, and it he seems pretty strong so far. Yep. You see and Owen you got the, the fans with the Si Se Puede chant going. Of course, that's the one thing about the men's soccer games every time. Si Se Puede. Oh, and he taking the throw in. Carlos Alvarez sends it back to Owen Heath. Owen Heath sends it forward, gets intercepted by number 12. Danny Pedro will roll out of bounds, will be a throw in for the Cardinals. Owen Heath taking the throw in again. Or uh, Alfredo. Alfredo takes the throw in. Always being trying to fight for the ball. Isn't able to get there. We'll ball, ball will roll out of bounds. Will be a throw in for the Cardinals once again. Quick throw in to, to Carlos Alvarez. Alvarez sends it back to Enzo. Enzo isn't able to get control. Emmanuel with possession of the ball. Chips up there. Still fighting for the ball. This half should favor the uh, Skyler team just because the wind is coming from the north. And that's where the Cardinals are trying to attack from south to north. So uh, Skyler should have a little advantage there with the wind on getting some shots on goal. Absolutely. ball rolls out of bounds will be a throw for the Cardinals. Like you said, the Skyler, the Warriors have the advantage on this side because of the, the wind. And the Cardinals are they're fighting against the wind. Nice steal there by Elias. Juan with possession of the ball. Juan sends it in the middle. Tried to get a cross in. Yep. And there goes the long ball for the Warriors. Here on the wing, number 11. Danny Arciga. Arciga. That was, a, that was an ambitious one-touch shot there. A one-time shot. Went over the bar. Kind of sliced it a little bit. Carlos Alvarez with possession of the ball. Carlos Alvarez driving the ball forward. Diego gets on it now. I'm trying to cut in through the middle. Gets the ball stolen from him. And now Skyler is on the attack. Emmanuel Chanchabac with the clearance there. Elias was trying to save it. Was not able to keep it in bounds. It will be a throw in for the Warriors. This should be a keeper ball. Grab onto it. Yep, he grabs onto it. Kenton Spence. Nice long kick there, almost to midfield. Goes over the right back for Skyler. Juan Tercero gets on it, drops it back to Diego Espinosa, who goes further back to Elias. Elias with the 1 2 with Diego. Try to get possession there. Ball goes out of bounds, and it'll be a throw-in for the Warriors. Throw taken by the Warriors, headed by Diego Espinoza. 
Espinoza with the ball, sends it to Enzo. Enzo with possession of the ball. Opens up play here for Alfredo. Alfredo tries to cut through the middle, gets stolen, but then Carlos recovers. Carlos Alvarez dribbling the ball. That was a nice, nice play there to the... Oh, that was a handball. That looked just like a handball. Uh, gotta see. I don't know if they got the replay on that, but looks and like it, they didn't. it could be that the referee deemed it that it was an accidental, uh -huh. since he kicked it first and then it went up to his to his uh, hand. But it looked it looked like a definite handball from up here. Elias with the throw in to Diego. Diego with possession of the ball, sends it back. Sends it back to Emmanuel. Emmanuel to Enzo. Enzo in between the lines there to Alfredo. Drops it back to Owen. Owen goes again to Alfredo. They get dispossessed here. Warriors building the attack now. Diego. Diego does the one two with Elias. That's too long, I think. Yep. Keeper ball. It's Luis Carrera from the Warriors. Long kick. Get, gets in between the, the, the legs of number 11 and then gets sent back to Christopher. Christopher to Alfredo here on the right side still. Holding possession of the ball. Now driving forward. Oh, gets a little trip there. And the ref is going to call it. So Alfredo got tripped from behind. I don't think it was on purpose, but. Still a free kick for the Cardinals. So far this year, the Skylar Warriors have played against Aurora, which they defeated 7 nothing. Then they went to a tournament, the Skylar Invitational, and played against Ralston, lost uh, one three to 2 They then beat Omaha Roncalli Catholic 3-1. to one. So did it end? That's uh, an exciting play there. Enzo goes just wide, hits it with his left foot, goes just wide of the goal. I think that was their first shot on goal for the Cardinals. I'm pretty sure that first was. shot. Yep. I believe that Skyler, Skyler has had two now. One from the free kick and the other, I don't remember. They, they both have gone over the bar. Fight here in the middle, which Crete wins. Carlo to Diego. Diego Espinoza with possession of the ball. Espinoza puts the brakes on it. Sends it out wide to Alfredo. Alfredo tries to go forward. Gets tripped. It'll be a free kick from a, a very good position for the Cardinals. Yep. It looks like coaches sending up there their tall players like Owen Heath. Carlos is going to take care of the cross here Carlos to the middle he goes to the near post ball gets cleared by the Warriors Emmanuel gets the ball gets it to Enzo that was kind of a bad pass from Enzo but ball gets it up high Crete's but able to recover it Diego fighting hard for that ball what a play there I mean to get the pass. Now Carlos Alvarez driven possession of the ball. Al Alvarez looking for the window, sends it to Alfredo. Alfredo. Oh, he just whiffed on that ball. Juan Tercero tried to do a half scissor kick there. And a slide tackle. Yeah, that was a clean slide tackle too from Diego. It just shows you how hard these boys are playing. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen Crete really on the offensive side. Offensive side. Matter of fact, we've seen both the Warriors and the Cardinals on the offensive side. They've been battling it out. Ball now on Warrior possession. Gets it to number 11, and then back to number 13. Alvaro Carrera looks for a pass, gets tripped up, and now no, Enzo. No call there. That was a clean, got the ball. He did hit the player, but it was after he got the ball. Carlos Alvarez recuperates the ball, loses the ball. And now Ozvin gets the ball over to Alfredo. Alfredo. Alfredo sending it to the middle. To oh, that gets intercepted there in the middle. And the ref is calling time for an injured player from the Warriors. And 
that came from that slide tackle that Carlos Alvarez did on him. Again, he did clip him, but he got the ball first. Yep. It's one of those unfortunate events. I think it was number 13. Yep, number 13, Alvaro Carrera, a uh, freshman for the Warriors. So while we have the time, we'll recap Crete's uh, record. Their first game against Nebraska City. They traveled to Nebraska City. All their This is their first home game for Crete. All their games have been away. So they played against Nebraska City. And they defeated them 8-0. Then they went to play Lincoln Lutheran, Raymond Central. Came out with an 8-0 win. They played against Lincoln Northwest. Came out with a 6-0 win. And then against Seward with a 4-0 win. So, so far through four games, like I said, the... Cardinals have not received a goal, and that just speaks of the defense. Which, in a game like this, against a team like this, a defense is going to be the most important thing. Yeah. As long as you can keep them from getting on the score sheet, all you need is one goal to win. Yeah, absolutely. And it's also pivotal for the rankings as well if we want to see the Cardinals progress to beat a team like this with a very strong offense and try to pull away the win. Christopher Sanchez with possession of the ball, hands it to Owen. Owen to Alvarez. Alvarez loses possession of the ball, will be a throw in for the Warriors. Number 11 takes it, Danny Arcega. Arcega to number 9. And the Cardinals are kind of ran into each other trying to get that ball back. Enzo. Enzo with possession to Juan. Diego fighting for the ball, lose possession of the ball, not Warrior possession. Oh, that's a good play by the Warriors. And this could be the start. Oh, and that just goes just wide. Wow. He hit it with the outside of his right foot, trying to get it across there. Kenson was coming out. That was a scary. That was, that was kind of like the Enzo play on yeah. the other side, too. I was, yeah, I was Cardinals. just about to say that. I mean, that was really similar to the Enzo play. But that, that was really good uh, connecting those passes for the Skylers. Absolutely, they Warriors. saw the opening and just took in this where it's going to be pivotal for the Crete defense to make a stand. Oh, Alvarez with possession of the ball, sends it to Alfredo. Alfredo. He took too long. He took too long to get rid of that ball. Yeah, well, That'll that be a Warriors, Warriors ball. It should have been a quick pass to Carlos, who was running and or across. Throw in for Alvarez. Oswin. Ball gets intercepted by Owen to Enzo. Enzo with possession of the ball. Sets it back to Owen. Carlos with possession. Sends it forward to Alfredo. Alfredo to Oswin. Oswin sends Diego to Enzo. That was a fortunate pass there that fell to Elias. Elias plays it outside to Juan who can cross it, but there's nobody in the middle. That was kind of an awkward attempt there from Oswin. Yeah, absolutely. I think he was expecting the ball to not drop so fast, but again with the wind, that was nice control by Diego to stop the ball, get it to Carlos on the right side. Now he's waiting for Alfredo to make that run deep. Best we can do here is a cross or a corner. Alvarez still with possession. That was a foul. The uh, ref said play on because we had possession of the ball, which is the right call. Here's the cross. Oh. Number seven for the Warriors kind of saved that. Looked like Juan wanted to take a shot there. Yep, throw in for, throw for the Warriors. No, nope, they called offside. Oh, offside? Yep. They called Juan in an offside position. Or maybe it was Elias. Kind of hard to see the numbers all the way across the field. Oh yeah, absolutely. I've been staring at the at the monitor presented to us, and so warrior possession of the ball. It's not out of bounds. Will be a throw in. You got a couple of substitutions here for the Warriors. 
Looks like number 10 is coming in. Number 10. Number 10, Diego Espinosa. And number 21. Number for, 20. No, for, uh, for the oh, Warriors. Oh, number 10? Oh, Kevin Martinez. And you said number 21, yep. Andrik Alarcon. Oh, that was a fortunate, fortunate play there. Kenson should have cleared the ball, tried to pass it back to Christopher. And the Skyler Warrior just got in front of it. I almost got a goal off of that. Emmanuel sends it forward. Goes out of bounds, throw for the Warriors. You call it deflection there. So it'll be a throw in for the Cardinals. Paul sends forward. Too hard of a touch will be roll into the keeper's hand. Number 31, Luis Carrera. It looks like we have a substitution waiting once the ball goes out here for Crete. I want to say it's number 12, Oscar Ortiz. Yep, it is number 12, Oscar Ortiz. You got a good eye. Oh, I have my glasses on, so <laughs> makes it easier. Yeah, I'm supposed to be wearing my glasses, as a matter of fact, but I just I just don't wear them. Ball will roll out of bounds. That'll be a throw in for Crete, and now we'll have the substitution. So first, we're nearing the first 20 minutes of the first half. So how do you feel about the trajectory of this game so far? Uh, it's been exciting so far, both. Uh, both teams have had chances, really good chances. Crete has made a couple of mistakes. Oh, this is, uh, if it would have been a little more to the left flank there on that pass, but it went straight to the keeper. It, it's been kind of a back and forth, like I said. Uh, Cardinals have made a couple of mistakes with the goalie that could have cost them. Ooh, that was a dangerous play there by Emmanuel going up with the studs raised we'll go out of bounds will be a throw in for the Cardinals Owen oh, he takes the throw in and so we go back to Emmanuel gets it out to Christopher again and then we go long to nobody Warriors get it back Oscar Ortiz recuperates the ball that's a nice pass to Diego Diego waiting for numbers gives it to Alfredo Alfredo with possession of the ball that was a good idea it's just too long of a pass. Owen oh. to Alfredo and called a handball on the Warriors, so it'll be a free kick. So we'll see what they can do here. We don't have that many numbers in the box. It's almost towards goal there. He takes a shot. He does, but rolls. Yep, Oscar takes the shot. It wasn't. It wasn't a very solid shot. I think he was kind of falling behind as he was trying to get that shot. Especially with the players around, you have to take it immediately, or you just lose the opportunity. So the rolls left will be a goal kick for the Warriors. The way this game is going, I can I can see it ending with a scoreline of 1-0. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I feel like once you get the ball in th inside the net, it's just you have to try to play it conservative or something to try to... Well, try b both, both teams are pretty good at connecting their passes, and yeah. so I think once one of them scores uh, defensively, I think the the uh, Cardinals will just close up a little more if they score first. Skyler will do the same. But both of them, both of the teams are pretty good defensively just because of the possession game that they have. Ball gets chopped out to Alfredo. Alfredo gets pushed in. So number 21, Andrik Alarcon with a push from behind there.
free kick and we go short here with Enzo. Enzo drops it off with Alfredo. Drives forward. Took too long. Might have been offside. Yep. That's what it was. Alfredo's just taking too long to get rid of the ball. That pass needed to be quicker. That would, would keep Enzo in an onside position and then give him a better advantage running into it. I'm not sure what Owen was trying to do there. No, we have number eleven. Again, with the with the passing that this the Skyler is doing, that's a foul. A foul on Christopher. So it'll be a free kick for the Warriors here. Which nine. again, with the wind, could be a dangerous shot. Oh yeah, number nine, Gaspar Juarez lining up to take the free kick for the Warriors. Sends it up. Ball goes out all the way to the other side of the field. Cardinals still not able to clear it. Now they got possession of it. Diego, Diego Spinoza. driving forward with it. Drops it off with Juan. A bad pass from Juan. Warriors back in the attack. Alvarez. Alvarez to Oscar. Oscar to Alfredo. Alfredo with possession of the ball. Driving the ball. Still yeah. with possession of the ball. Again, he's holding on to the ball way too long. Cross it inside. That's a push from behind. It's going to be a corner. It looked like a push from behind. Yeah, I would guess the wind right now, it's at about 20 miles an hour from the north-northwest. And when I say guess, I, I looked at the weather app. <laughs> You're already on it. So the corner kick, Carlos Alvarez is going to take it. And it looks like we're dropping Enzo on defense. Enzo usually playing that, that midfield defensive midfielder position. And Skyler is able to clear it, but not all the way out. Carlos again with the ball. Should have looked for a cross there. Christopher now. They lose possession, and now... Enzo. Enzo trying to recoup the bit, and will roll into Kenson's hands. And Enzo just helped him a little bit there, using his body to shield the ball to help Kenson have enough room there to recover that ball. Espinoza picks up the ball. Diego was still with possession of the ball. And a foul. Got pulled down. Pulled down by number five, Anthony Gomez from Skyler. So it'll be a free kick. It looks like Emmanuel Chanchabac is going to take it. Emmanuel Chanchabac Matias. Forward, Alfredo. Gives it to Oscar. Gets intercepted, but gets picked up by Alfredo again. Alfredo with possession of the ball. Alfredo looking for the shot, and it's saved by the goalkeeper, number 31, Luis Carrera. That was a shot. It was right at the keeper, though, but we're getting closer now. We're getting closer. We're, we're actually making the goalie make a save now. Diego, hey. or Enzo with an awkward header there. Elias gets the ball, leaves it with Enzo. Enzo gets dispossessed, and now Skyler is on the attack. Nine. Gaspar Juarez sends it forward, and we'll go out of bounds. Emmanuel just... Heads it out of bounds. Throwing for the Warriors. We will be taken by number one, Kevin Mariona. And it looks like we had a substitution there for Cri for Skyler. Ball rolls out of the bounds, but this time will be a carnal possession. Number seven, Obed Benasso comes back in. He was the player, I think, that got hurt. The 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 player that got hurt was number thirteen. Oh, Alvaro 13. got it. Yeah. The Cardinals again fighting for the ball here. Able to get it back. 
Emmanuel plays it across to Christopher. Christopher looking for a, an open player. Finds Oscar in the middle as a forward. You get dispossessed and then the long shot goes a little wide and over the top too. Have another substitution now for the Skylar Warriors, number 15. Yojan Cruz goes in for number 11, David Arciga. Goal kick for the Cardinals. Alfredo using his body there to move somebody out and then splits the defenders. Oscar just kind of falls with it. And we lose the ball. Owen somehow gets it, saves it, but gives it back to the Warriors. Oscar with possession of the ball. Hands it off to Diego. Diego to Carlos. Alvarez back to Espinoza. Alvarez still with possession of the ball. A long ball there for Juan. Yeah, he's, he's able to almost able to get almost able to get almost, it there. Yep. Skyler just playing the long ball right now. And so slides. Referee calls for a foul there. And he's showing Enzo a yellow card. That's yeah, uh, unfortunate. So the so that calls for a substitution. Uh, to me, it it was Enzo's first foul. We've had a couple of players that have had more than one. It didn't seem any more egregious than some of the ones that Skyler has had or the Creed has had. We got two substitutions now. Looks like we have Osvin Garcia coming in. And then we have uh, Danny Lopez Loarca. So we have. They're having them redo the free kick because the referee said they needed to wait for the whistle. So here's the second one. Kenson gets it easily. Kent sends it high. Danny got a touch on it. Oswin recuperates the ball. Oswin to, to Carlos Alvarez. Alvarez to Alfredo. Alfredo. Alfredo still with possession of the ball. Alfredo sends it to Oswin. Oh. Now Owen Heath with possession to Emmanuel. Emmanuel Chanchavac. Diego Espinoza with possession, sends it back to Christopher Sanchez. And now the bad thing is we have 10 minutes left in this first half, and then it'll be 40 minutes in the second half, and we'll have our defensive midfielder, which is supposed to be our one of our stronger players defensively, but also building that attack with a yellow card. Yeah. And so he'll have to play a little more careful, which... For a lot of these guys, that's really not an option. They they go 100% on everything. Absolutely. That's the good part, but also a little tricky in a situation like this. Oswin with a block shot there. Danny tried to take a shot too, was blocked again. Skyler just trying to get the ball out now. Danny again with the header. Elias picks up the ball. He just kicks it out. Try to get it to Juan, but goes out of bounds. So now we'll have another substitution, number 14 for Skyler. Ale Alarcón. And then number 11 for the Creed Cardinals, and so. Enzo Giron Padilla. Nine minutes left, 0-0. Zero, zero. Osvin to Alfredo. Alfredo sends it back to himself. Now to Owen, Owen Heath. He took a little too long there, but was able to get the deflection on that pass. Throw in for Alfredo. Alfredo with possession of the ball. Sends it up. Warriors fighting for the ball. Keep possession of the ball. 
So the ball squirts all the way out to Juan. Juan is waiting for Elias to make that run. Enzo, Enzo with possession of the ball. And so loses the ball to number five for the Skyler, Skyler Warriors, Anthony Gomez. And now Skyler's looking to build that attack. Owen beats oh. him with speed. Oh, there's a little miscommunication there. Osbin was waiting for Alfredo to keep running. And Alfredo stopped. So the ball went out of bounds. I'm not sure what the the ref... They're calling a throw-in for Crete. Alfredo to Owen. Owen will possession the ball. Sends it back to Christopher, and Christopher sends it out of bounds. Will be a throw-in for the Warriors. He's trying to clear it. He sliced it, went out of bounds. Substitution for the Warriors, number 10. Number 10, Kevin Martinez. Throw-in for the Warriors, number 12, Danny Pedro. For the Cardinals, this is the year that they could go far. With the seniors they have and then the freshmen that came in to reinforce some of those lines. Oh, the ref called Owen for a foul, but uh, there was no foul there. I think the player just tried to kick it, and as he was turning, he just lost his balance and fell, but... The ref deemed it a foul. So and now he'll go again with that cross. So it might be again the same thing where it goes right to the keeper. With the cross. Kansen comes out. I think Diego got a head on it to try and clear it. And he just kind of slide slid back and Kansen was able to grab it. High kick from Kensen. Little push. Number 12 for Skyler. Danny Pedro was... Doing a little push from behind there. Now Diego, I mean, sorry, Enzo with possession of the ball. Plays a 1-2 with Alfredo. Enzo still with possession of the ball. He's able to get away there. Drops it back to Emmanuel. Emmanuel looking for the long ball to Carlos. Skyler is able to clear it. And they lose possession at midfield. They recover here, number 14, with a nice pass. Owen with a nice block there. Skyler still with the ball. Skyler looking for that long shot. Kenson able to get it. So five minutes to play. On the scoreboard, they have how many shots and saves. That That's not accurate. There's way more than that. Right. Yeah. We're playing here in the attacking third for Skyler. Ball gets chopped off to Alfredo. Alfredo sent it to Enzo. Enzo to... Oh, you know, the number 12, they're kind of whiffed on the ball, but Skyler's still able to get to it and clear it. We have thrown for the Cardinals. Owen Heath will take the throw in. Skyler again clearing the ball out of bounds to be a throw in again. Owen Heath with the ball. There needs to be some movement here from the Cardinals. They're all just kind of standing still. They called Owen for a bad throw. He kind of sidearmed it a little bit. A throw for the Warriors, number 15. Between Owen and Christopher, they're trying to clear the ball. Christopher's not able to send it long. It'll be a throw in for the Warriors. Picked up by Diego. Diego to Osvin. Osvin still with possession of the ball. Osvin now driving with the ball. Osvin off to the races. Uh, and number, we'll number 20 was a little faster able to get the ball off of Oswin. Alfredo now will possession the ball, fighting for it. 
Sent it to Osmin. Osmin with a touch on it. Back to Alfredo. Alfredo looking for the cross over to. I'm guessing that was Juan. Yep, it was Juan. Now Enzo. Enzo with possession of the ball. He's trying to look for somebody there. Juan. And he's offside again. Coach is not going to be very happy about that. I know he drills that in practice by watching your line. Those offsides from Juan are a little different than the one that Enzo had just because the defender or on this side, Alfredo was holding on to the ball too long. On that one, it was just Enzo was trying to get past people. And when he made that pass, Juan was just not waiting for it. Crete here in the midfield trying to look for the long pass. Christopher just sends it forward to nobody. Skyler recovers. And now we're just kicking the ball. Emmanuel kicked the ball out and it'll be a throw in for Cardinals. We got two minutes and 12 seconds left in the first half. Score still 0-0. Zero, zero. Like you said, the score might just come down to a 1-0 game. Cardinals in their red and blue uniforms and the Warriors with the white shirts and green shorts. Ball gets it back to the keeper. Tempted to slide tackle there. And Carlos recovers the ball, trying to take on a player. Hits the ball off of them, and it'll be a throw in for the Cardinals. 135. Carlos takes it. Gets it to, oh, goalkeeper came out and got it. 90 seconds left. Possession by the Warriors. Sends it far, tries to get it to number seven. And Christopher is not able to get in front of it. Now he's going to use his body to shield him. Not able to. The other player was faster. But he's able to clear it. There's a little miscommunication there as to which Warrior was going to take it between 12 and 14. Now Enzo with possession of the Enzo ball. Enzo came out with the ball. Back to number 12, Danny Pedro. Danny Pedro with possession of the ball from the Warriors. To number 7. Christopher using his body real well to get that ball out of that. Number 7, Obed Benasso from the Warriors. Now Carlos Alvarez with possession. Sends it to Osvin. Osvin fighting for the ball and... And they called a foul on the Warriors from back. He was letting the play, the play develop. He was giving him advantage when he saw that he was able to get to the ball. Called it back to the original spot of the foul. And now we're going long here. With 17 seconds to play, the Warriors send it long once again. We just need to clear it here. We don't really need anything anymore here. Yeah, so just nine seconds left. So with the first half accumulating, so we have seen both sides being playing back and forth. The score still being 0-0, zero, zero, a stalemate. They've matched each other. So obviously, like we said at the beginning, this is this is a really close. This is gonna go. This is going to be a really close game between the two, since they both play similar offenses and similar play style. The, the one thing Crete has is, again, they've kept a clean sheet through four games. Skyler has not, so that's where the Cardinals are going to have to attack and get at least one goal. Knowing, knowing they get one goal, they should be able to shut him down and keep another clean sheet. But we'll see what happens here in the next uh, 40 minutes in the second half. So we'll take a quick break. We'll see you guys back in 10 minutes.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to the highly anticipated second half matchup between Crete Cardinals versus the Skyler Warriors. In a thrilling soccer encounter, both teams have shown their strengths on the offense and defense. With the score still being 0-0, we'll see what is able to be get done here in the second half with 40 minutes remaining. Warriors start off with possession of the ball, rolls back to the goalkeeper. Will get picked up by number 31, Luis Carrera. High kick from Luis. Bounces up. Collided between Owen and Enzo, but it gets picked up by Diego. Diego Espinosa with the ball. Now possession with Emmanuel. Emmanuel sends it forward to Enzo. So both evens were both teams were pretty even in in the first half, so we'll see what the second half has for us. Yeah, now we got our scoreboard back up fixed compared to the issues that were that occurred in the first half. Yeah, the score was the score has always been zero zero. Yep. Carlos Alvarez picks up the ball. So the sides have flipped now, but the weather has gotten cooler, so And the wind's also a little bit lower. Yeah. Instead of 20 miles an hour, now we have 18 mile an hour winds. So we'll see what. So it'll be a throw in here for Crete. The throw goes back to Owen. Owen gets it again, and here we're moving the ball a little quicker, which is what Coach Spence said at half, that we needed to move the ball a little quicker. We had a couple of players just holding on to the ball too long, and we are a team that can connect those passes. Alfredo with the... Is that in for the field goal? Alfredo tried to do an auto pass there, pass to himself. That was that was a really good play. That's what we want. Like you said, the when, car. W w well, like I said, like when Alfredo was holding on to the ball, he was just holding on to it and not moving forward. Now that one, he was holding it but moving forward. And then we have a corner for the Cardinals. Goes all the way across. It was headed off of a Skyler player, so it'll be a throw in for Crete Cardinals. Throw in will be taken by Elias. Throw into Emmanuel. Back to Elias. And you get dispossessed here. Bad pass. Enzo recovers it. Enzo marching the ball forward. Enzo still with possession of the ball. To the left side. Oh, he tried to drop it off there, but Oswin was too far behind. Alvarez with possession to Juan. Juan back to Elias. Elias able to... Yeah, he's able to keep it in. And Skyler Warrior number one. Kevin Marlona, Mariona is it gets it out. And it'll be a throw in here for Crete. Elias to Emmanuel. Emmanuel sends it forward. It will be. Oh, yeah. That was dangerous. Very um, dangerous. That could have been an own goal for the Warriors. Number 20, Richard Delgado was trying to clear the ball. Ball went out. It'll be a corner kick. Looks like Diego Espinosa is going to take the kick. What a good citizen. He took the time to lift up that corner flag that had fallen from the wind. So Enzo with the, uh, Diego with the cross. Enzo was getting ahead on there, but didn't make enough contact to drive it forward. Gets picked up by Elias. And now Emmanuel Chanchavac with possession of the ball. Emmanuel. Oh. With an errant pass there, gives it back to the Warriors. Now Kenson will come out and will pick up the ball. Number 11 for the Warriors, David, David, David Arcega. Yep. Just kicked it too far for his running teammate, number seven, Ovet Benasso. Osvin to Diego. Diego recuperating the ball. He's able to get it to Elias. Elias now with possession of the ball. Sends it back to Enzo in the middle. Christopher Sanchez now with possession of the ball. Goes forward, gets intercepted by the Warriors. Number, number 12. 10. Kevin Martinez with possession of the ball. Kevin still with possession, dribbling the ball forward. Gets 
Enzo is able to get the ball off of him there. And now we get the ball and with an errant pass, get it back again to the Warriors. Back and now and now they have the chance here to attack. Number seven. Oh, that was a beautiful slide there. I think was that Emmanuel? I think that was Christopher. Number 13, Christopher. Oh, yeah, Christopher. That was a beautiful slide there to save that ball. But the referee had called uh, offside on the Warriors. So now Christopher Sanchez. So that was lucky on both counts. Yeah. Emmanuel Chanchavac with position of the ball and a bad Again, pass a bad to number pass. 17, Jose Cruz. Tried to take a shot there from distance. That was a heavy touch. Goes he goes high. That was like 25 yards away. And it goes wide and high. Goal kick for the Cardinals. Emmanuel Chanchavac sends it long to midfield. Picked up by number number 14. It's a nice block there by Emmanuel. And Oswin wins that ball. And now he needs to wait. Tries to send Alfredo. Here Alfredo. we go. Alfredo, Alfredo with the nice. Hey. Goal! Alfredo Herrera, number 18, with the goal off of a beautiful assist from number 6. Osvin Garcia Velasquez. Just look at the replay here. I mean, can't get better than that. Just phenomenal goal, able to finish it. The anticipation there was really high too. The one chance Alfredo had, he took it. And it wasn't it wasn't an easy ball. It was a long Absolutely, a yeah. long cross there to him. He was able to control it and then on speed get past the defender. Yep. Cardinals now 1-0. Will they stick to the game plan we're talking about? And a Clean slight. They oh no! They called a f uh, they call throw in, throw, throw in for the Warriors. But like you said, compared to the to what Alfredo had in the first half, is able to make corrections and able to nail in a goal. Enzo, with possession of the ball. Oh, well, ball just goes right out. It didn't look like it went out of bounds on here. Yeah, it did not. It did not look from our and side. And again, in the first half, that cross that Oswin did would not have been possible because of the wind. Yeah. Nope, Carlos just kind of overruns that ball. Ball gets cleared. Christopher clears the ball to midfield. Oswin fighting. Diego or Alfredo comes all the way from his right side to help in the middle. And we're trying to do a too many slide tackles here. Now the Warriors are in deep territory for the Cardinals. And They're in the attacking third. Number 17 with possession of the ball, Jose Cruz. Sends it to the middle. And, and we've got numbers there. we got bodies in the middle. We're able to block the ball. And now Emmanuel driving forward with the ball. To Osvin. Osvin Garcia with possession of the mm -hmm. ball. And loses the ball. Will roll out of bounds. Will be a throw in four. Tried to do a couple of fancy tricks there. Yeah. Kind of tripped over himself. But really unstable there. Be a throw in for the Cardinals. And now here's where we got to go forward with that throw in. Emmanuel Chanchavac with the throw in. Yeah, ball kind of gets out there. Christopher is able to clear it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the Warriors. And... I think they're calling that there was a deflection off of that kick. Christopher Sanchez now with possession of the ball. And he throws it into the middle to nobody. Warrior possession now. And Oswin, Oswin is sacrificing there, running back to try and get it. And referee calls a foul on Carlos Alvarez. Free kick for the Warriors. Yeah, the wind has died down quite a bit. Number one, Kevin Mariona will take the free kick for the Warriors. This is went way over. And that's in. Into the wind, too. 
Yep. Which, you know, when you're, hit, when you're kicking into the wind, the wind's going to pick up that ball and start to lift it up too. So That was a nice kick into the post. You think he's in football, plays kicker? Could be. Long oh. kick here all the way to midfield. Warriors able to get control of it. Kevin Marion. Chest is down. And Emmanuel just comes out and kicks it out. Throwing for the Warriors, number 17, Jose Cruz. Jose. Oh, that's a foul. Emmanuel just shoved down number seven for the Warriors. Obed Benasso. They've both been battling quite a bit in the box in the previous free kick. Emmanuel was pushing him too. So now we're. Just a little personal battle there. So it'll be a free kick here. Dangerous cross. Number 14, Ale Alarcon. And it'll be a cross because it's a right footer. If it was a left footer, you would worry about a shot. Gets cleared away. Juan. Oh, but again, we're just trying to clear it. And that's not what we need to do. Juan is gets dispossessed. Diego. Diego trying to get on the defensive side. And referee calls a foul against Diego. Number 10, Diego Espinosa. Mend this. This is this is one thing that they the Cardinals cannot do. They cannot just sit back and start kicking the ball. And once again, when I when I said last I in the first half that once they score one, they could sit back and I meant with possession. So they don't necessarily have to attack, but we do have to connect those passes and keep possession of the ball. If we just keep booting it up to nobody, it's going to allow Skyler to transition into attack. Yeah, absolutely. Now, ball gets to Ozvin. Ozvin still nice with position fake the ball. There, nice step over. He ends up losing the ball. They gets it back again. A Fighting little for push the ball. there. That, that could have been a foul on Ozvin. Juan off to the races. Juan is able to stop the ball. Ooh, Juan nice. to the middle. Alfredo. We'll and saved by the goalkeeper for the Warriors. Number 31, Luis Carrera, once again. He had Carlos Alvarez running behind him. Could have been a thing where he dummies the ball and lets Carlos come and get it or stops it and then turns around and gets that pass to Carlos, who had a better chance since he was running into the ball where Alfredo had to stop and turn to get that shot off. And again, Emmanuel with that push. Was they call just a, a throw in. But this could be dangerous. If we get Emmanuel with the yellow card, now you have your strongest center back and then your best defensive midfielder, both with yellow cards. Obe oh fighting for the possession of the ball, loses it to Diego. Diego now with possession of the ball. Still remains possession. We'll probably send it. In, in, in a game this physical, you can't afford that. And that that is a dumb play from Carlos. There's no need for that. There is playing hard, and then there is that. Ball will remain in bounds. Warriors possession gets to number one, Kevin Mariona. Oswin is able to hold on to the ball. He he does really good as a number nine there, holding the ball. Oswin to Alfredo. Alfredo waiting for his chance. He Takes waited too long. He waited too long. He needed to just keep going and then take that shot across his body. He let the defender catch up to him when he stopped and pulled it back. Kevin Mariona gets intercepted by the Cardinals. Diego with a nice pass there, but Juan doesn't have the legs anymore. And coach needs to... Look into making a sub here for left wing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they've had Juan onto multiple races. Oh, looks like we're going to have a substitution of keepers here. Number 28. Marcos Gomez comes in for number 31, Luis Carrera. And then for the Cardinals, whenever we get the ball, we're going to have a couple of substitutions. Yeah, I think we have two. Looks like Oscar. Oscar and can't see the other one. Enzo fighting for the ball. It might be Josue Perez. Oh, 
Alfredo gets in front of the ball, loses possession. Alfredo, that's a foul. He pulled him down. Number seven has been getting <laughs> fouled a lot for the Warriors. Yeah. Obed Benasso. They've been treating him like a dummy here. Yeah, that's that's not good though. Yeah. The good thing is he hasn't tried to retaliate. But this could cause problems. That was yeah. an off balance shot by number seventeen, Jose Cruz for the Warriors. Goes out of bounds. And now we'll have our substitutions. So we have Oscar Ortiz. Oscar Ortiz coming in for Osvin. And like you said, number Oh, number twenty, uh Pascual Ramos. Yeah, Pascual Ramos Lopez comes Lopez. in for Juan. Juan Tercero. Goal kick for the Cardinals. And like I said, Juan was looking like he needed to, to get a sub. Pascual now in action. To Elias. Elias back to Pascual. Pascual. And Pascual, number 20 for the Cardinals, was a player that made varsity last year as a freshman and was a very promising player, too, in attack. Carlos Alvarez now with possession of the ball. Carlos puts the brakes. And w we're hoping that here as a sophomore he'll flourish a little more. And, and the ref is going to call time here. There's an injured player for the Warriors back on the 40-yard line of the Cardinals. But he did call a foul on Diego Espinosa. And as you see, the game is getting way more physical. And this is where those plays like the ones Carlos Alvarez is making and the ones that Emmanuel Chanchabac are making are going to hurt the yeah. team. They end up with a yellow card. Again, that's three players that are very important to the team that can no longer afford any of these physical battles. Yeah, absolutely. And once the tensions start heating up, you want to retaliate, but that should never be the case here. Still, you guys are up 1-0 up with 24 minutes remaining. So number eight looks like he's holding his shoulder. So he's going out to number three for the Warriors. Kevin Pachko is coming in. It might be Pacheco. They might have misspelled that. Might be because on our sheet here too, they misspelled goalie. Goalie. They have Gaoli. And go! As we were talking, that just, wow. I didn't even get to see the play. If you can please show the replay again. Because me and him were talking about the misspelling, and we just missed the absolutely banger of a play from the Cardinals to get the goal in. Wow. I'm pretty sure if I'm correct, it was a header. But I couldn't see the number. Well, we got a, a substitution here for the Warriors. Should keep our head head on to the game. Now with the Creek Creek Cardinals are up 2-0 with 24 re minutes remaining. The Warriors are going to try to get into action quick. Sends it to the middle. And we clear the ball here. Pascual, Pascual is able to avoid that slide tackle. You have Oscar Holding open. on to the ball. Ball goes out. And they're going to call a throw in here for the Warriors. That was a very good cross there in that header. That finish was excellent. Absolutely beautiful. Well, two O's more comfortable now. Get a little more cushion. Always got off to the races as number 20 tries to leave it off for the goalkeeper, and he does so. Number 28, Marcos Gomez picks up the ball. And now Warriors with possession of the ball again. And Oscar Ortiz is an athlete, and he's he's a runner. He is. So he, they have him there to chase those balls. Osvin was doing a great job of using his body to protect the ball and hold it until we had uh, numbers. Oscar is a different type of player where he'll just go chase that ball and then pressure people. Yeah, absolutely. If you see him, he just came from like midfield and just sprinted his way down there. If you would have blinked, you would have missed. He was already down there. 
that was a that was a hard um, clash there between number seven and I think number eight. Number seven for the Cardinals, Carlos Alvarez, and number eight for the Warriors, Jesus Cuevas. Bowen, uh, I think the ref called a foul there on Carlos. Owen heads the ball, trying to clear it. And a little push there from behind, a little hold and push. On, is that Elias? Look at the replay here. I'm not sure who that was. Was it? Yeah. That might be Juan. Did they put Juan back in the game? I think. From what I looked, it kind of did look like Juan. Yeah. Oh, it's got fighting for possession of the ball. And again, going going after it, pressuring it. Yeah, and it's able to get the ball out there. Yeah, if you just throw in. if you just keep your eyes on Oscar at number twelve, you'll see him everywhere where the ball goes. He just continuously puts the pressure. body there, kind of put a shoulder on his chest. The the foul was called because of the the shoulder to the chest. If it would have been shoulder to shoulder, it wouldn't have been a foul. But because our player was turning, it'd be a free kick. Cardinals take back to Emmanuel, holds the ball, gets it out wide again to Christopher. Christopher gets past number seven for the Warriors, but then kicks the ball back to the Warriors. Number 11, David Arcega. Diego with the ball, sending that nice long pass. Juan's able to get to it first. Juan. Takes a shot, goes wide, wide right. Now 20 minutes remain, or nearing 20 minutes. Crete is up 2-0. Uh, and the only reason Juan took that shot is because he saw the keeper was out, yeah. but he wasn't able to direct it because he was off balance. And we got two substitutions waiting here to come in. It looks like maybe Oswin and Alfredo. Carlos out on the right side. Slide tackle by the Warriors. Carlos is able to hold possession, try to cross the ball. Warriors clear it. Enzo recovers, but then gets it back to the Warriors. The Warriors send the long pass. Emmanuel's able to get it and just kick it back to Elias. David Arcega fighting for the ball. Comes gets in from behind, gets pushed, and that'll be a card. That is definitely a card. So number 11 for David. the Warriors. David Arcega. David Arcega is getting a yellow card for that push from behind on Elias. And now we'll get our two substitutions. If I'm not mistaken, number 11 has actually been trying that for a while. He's been fouled for... So we got number 6, Oswin Garcia. Vasquez coming in. O Oswin Garcia Velasquez coming in. And then... Number 18, Alfredo Herrera. Free kick short. Pass to Enzo. Back to Emmanuel. Emmanuel gets intercepted by number 14. Al Alarcon. Alarcon sets to Obed. And Christopher Sanchez slips on the ball. Is able to get the pass to Elias. Elias fighting two over there. And will clear the ball out of bounds. Will be a throw in for the Warriors. Number 14 will take it. Al Alarcon. Uh, never mind. Number 15, yeah. Lucian Cruz. They're going to call a foul on Crete there. Gets Elias. And they go quick here. Kenson's able to get on that header. Great awareness there by Kenson. So the thing that has helped Creed a lot this year is their defensive efforts. That having Christopher... Having Christopher Sanchez in the middle with Emmanuel Chanchabac Matias as your two center backs, and then putting uh, number 11, Enzo Giron Padilla, right in front of him in a defensive midfielder role, is just stopping a lot of people from coming through. Diego Espinoza. That should have been a foul there. There were two people that pushed on Enzo there. Or Diego. Carlos. And we have some pushing and shoving here. And this is 
This is dangerous territory. I don't think the ref saw that. Ball is being gets intercepted by Kevin. Number 15 with possession of the ball. Goes out of bounds. Will be a throw in for the Warriors. Number one, nope. Kevin Mariona. He's, he's on the wrong line. He mistook the white line uh, for the out of bounds line. And it's the yellow one. And we have a couple of substitutions. One for the Cardinals, one for the Warriors. It looks like number number five, Juan Tercero, is coming in for the Cardinals. Diego. And number number ten, Kevin Martinez, comes in for number five, Anthony Gomez. Carlos trying to reach around to grab the player. Skyler, they're doing a good job. Carlos gets a leg in front of the player and then an arm, and now he's going to get booked for it. It's been way too many for Carlos. So Carlos Alvarez Flores is getting a yellow card. And then we'll have, is that number 20, number 24, Oscar Lucas Lucas? Was this three yellow cards in total given out this game? So far. So we got one. There will be more. One of one of Skyler's player has one, and then Carlos Alvarez and Enzo Giron. Yeah, the Skyler player is number 11, David Arciga, which got the yellow card. And this is, again, the referee is telling them that they needed to wait until the whistle. So they're going to redo the the free kick here. And now you're on the left side of the field with the right kicker. Now you have to worry about a shot on goal here too, not just a cross. And this is where Kenson needs to be confident. Kenson needs to be confident and come out for that ball if it gets close. That's got to be Kenson's. And that's a good save. Good save. Watch the replay. Yep. Got on the fingertips of Kenson will be. That'll be a corner, corner kick. Yep. Number 15 for the Warriors. Johan Cruz. Gets to Enzo. Enzo. And a shot. Goes off of the crossbar there. It's a good shot there for the Warriors. Absolutely good shot there. Oh, ball went out. I don't know. It's hard to tell from here. It didn't look like the whole the whole ball went out, but we're on the way on the other side. Yeah. Owen's able to block the ball, and Emmanuel or Christopher kicks it out. Kevin Mariona sends it back. Carlos over or Luke, uh, Oscar overruns that. Oscar Lucas Lucas. Kevin Mariona with possession of the ball sends it up upwards, and will. Emmanuel just kind of chests yeah. out of bounds. Throw in again. Kevin Mariona. Emmanuel touch it back with possession. Still dribbling the ball, gives it to Elias. Elias back to Emmanuel. And that's a handball by Oswin. So it'll be a free kick for the Warriors. It was an accidental hand, but he was lifting up his hand as he was jumping. Cardinals able to get the ball out now with Alfredo. Alfredo sends a long ball, which we don't need that. You got to just control the pace, control the ball. So far, it's been a dominating half for the Cardinals, although, although the uh, Warriors have had some chances too with that save from Kenson and then the crossbar that they hit. And it has been a little more heated, a little more physical the second half. Yeah, absolutely. The tension has risen a lot. We got yellow cards handed out left and right. Mm -hmm. Number seven here trying to get a shot. Goes all the way across the face of the goal. Goes out on the other side for a throw in. Number 15. And now we'll have a substitution for the Cardinals. It's 
number is that Baltasar? Number 16. Baltasar Adame Vasquez comes in for the Cardinals. Kevin Mariona sends it back. Number three, number three sends it back to the goalkeeper, Marcos Gomez. And our coach is telling everybody to kind of move up so that we can leave the Warriors offside because they're going to try to just go long on those balls. So Elias recovers the ball. He gets past the player, too, then loses the ball. Number 10 with possession. Baltasar tries to get a little something on there, but is Kevin unable to. Kevin Martinez to Obed and Owen oh. Heath to Kenson. Kenson just kicks it up, which that's what you're supposed to do. Now Warriors kind of whiff on the ball there. Johan and Cruz. Manuel is able to keep it in bounds and go forward. Manuel. Loses the ball. Kevin Mariona with possession of the ball. This is number 14. Enzo. Kevin back with possession and en taken by Enzo. And that's a foul. And it could be a yellow or it could be a red. I don't know. It's going to be a yellow card for number one. So that has four yellows on the night. So number one for the Warrior, Kevin, Kevin. Mariona yep. with the yellow card. Looks like he's okay. Yeah, just a really heated game. It's a good game, but the tensions are high down there. And once, so for number one, goes out with the yellow card. We got a substitution in number 14, Ale Alarcón. That marks two yellow cards. Or actually, it's number 16. Davis Ardeano. Yep. Another substitution, number 15, Johan Cruz goes out, and number 11, David Arciga, who, who had a yellow card earlier, comes back into the game. And then for the Cardinals, we have number 7, Carlos Alvarez Flores coming in. And then we also have number 10, Carlos Alvarez Diego the ball down. Men Diego Espinosa Mendes. Pascual. Pascual with possession of the ball. Back to Alvarez. He's offside. So another offside call for the Cardinals. Thirteen minutes left in the second half. Creed Cardinals ahead two to nothing against the Skyler Warriors. With this win again, the well, that's a little kick there. Ref just says play on. Number seven for the Warriors, Obed Benasso, which has been, I think, their best player so far. He has received a lot of fouls, but he has kept going, and he's been their most dangerous player. Ball goes up. Gets Warriors with possession of the ball. Number 20, driving the ball forward. Still with the possession of the ball. Gets dispossessed by... by oh, Owen just hits that off of the head of one of the Warriors. And now here they go. Number 7 with the cross. Kenson is able to get something on it, but not able to grab it. Cardinals are able to clear, though. That was lucky. Yep, Emmanuel with the clear there to Ozvin. Ozvin with possession of the ball. Sends it forward to, to Alfredo. Alfredo off to the races. Alfredo gets possession of the ball. He needs Al to keep coming in. Alfredo. Cut him. There you go. All right. Goalkeeper comes oh. out the box. Oh. Nope. And that was a good shot there. Goes wide left. Good shot by Elias. We got a substitution here for the Cardinals. Is that Juan? Yeah, it is Juan. Comes in for Pascual. So number five, Juan Tercero Martin comes in. I never caught Diego coming back in, so. Manuel with the header to Juan. Juan with possession now. Gets intercepted. Warriors with possession of the ball. Number nine sends it forward to Owen. And now Cardinals remain possession. 
gives it to Alfredo. Alfredo. Alfredo to Osvin. Osvin gets a touch on the ball. Back to Alfredo. And offside. Offsides, yep. Osvin just took a little too long, but I think he was waiting for somebody to come in and lap around him on the other side. Kick down. Now Obed going for the races on that one, and it goes. Christopher is able to get it up to get it away from him. And now it'll be a throw in for the Warriors, and we'll have a substitution. Number one for the Warriors, Kevin Mariona coming back in. Yep. So we have number one and number 11 for the Warriors with yep. yellow cards. And then number 11 and number seven for the Cardinals. Yeah, that's that's what we stand at right now with the yellow cards. Cardinal Alvarez sends it long. Always been trying to get there, and they're able to get it. Well, the Warriors are still have possession. And Osvin goes down. I'm not down. sure what happened there. Osvin goes down. I know last year he did have some problems with his knee. But I don't I didn't see what happened there. Yeah. I think the Skyler players are thinking that he's just faking it. And in high school it doesn't matter because time stops. It's not like in in professional where Time just keeps going, and people can waste their time. It might just be cramps. Yeah, I think it is just a cramp. That's good. If it's just a cramp, that's good. But, yeah, th in high school, you shouldn't complain about this. It, it's stopping the time, so you, you're not losing anything out. It looks like we're going to have a substitution then. It looks like Oscar... Ortiz is going to come back in. And that's, I don't like seeing that. Oswin is talking to the fans. I think we're making fun of him for for going down. And Oswin responded to them that they were winning 2 to nothing. <laughs> that's That's not classy at all. And it's not what the program should be about. So number 12, Oscar Ortiz comes into the field now. And it'll be Warrior Ball. Do you think Coach will definitely say something about him? I don't think Coach Spence saw it. But the other coaches should have seen it and should be talking to him about it. Oh. Got nine minutes and eight seconds left in the second half of this game. Cardinals leading two to nothing against the Skyler Warriors. Cardinals in possession of the ball. Alfredo on the right side. Puts the brakes on it. Still with possession. And, and a little push there. And not Alfredo, is that that's Oscar. Os Oscar with the push, and so it'll be a free kick for the Warriors. That extension of the arm always gives it away. Number seven wins the battle for the Warriors, but Emmanuel is yep. there to clear. Emmanuel has got a substitution for the Warriors. Number. I need to see the back of him. Yep. Trying to catch that too. Number 21. 21, yep. Number 21, Andrik Alarcon comes in for the Warriors. And Carlos just clears the ball. Goes on the bleachers on the other side of the field, but Home gets run. a little deflection off of one of the one of the Skyler Warrior players, and it'll be a throw in for the Cardinals. Seven fifty remains. Here is Oscar, a little push there to get possession of the ball, leaves it short for Enzo. Enzo's not able to get it. Warriors lose the ball on that pass. And I think Juan was offside, but the yeah. side judge didn't see it or didn't call it. Ball back in Diego's feet here. Goes to the middle with Enzo. Enzo can go to the far side with Carlos. Carlos can take a shot here. He has Alvarez a nice takes a shot. And that's a beautiful goal. Go!
Angelos Alvarez extends the lead to 3-0. You know, Jorge, I've been practicing the extended goals. I could have gone for an extended period of time, but... Yeah, save your oxygen. We might we might get another one. We'll see. If we do get another one, I'll hold it for for a, so min a minute. A so minute. So it was a goal by number seven, Carlos Alvarez Flores, and then the assist came from number 11, Enzo Giron Padilla. And then we had an, a substitution here. Another one of the young, promising for, um, freshmen this year, number 23, Lester Lester Barrientos Reyes coming in. Diego steals the ball. So now the Cardinals are in, in extremely comfortable territory, being a 3-0. So 3-0 with six minutes and 45 seconds left in the second half. I'm not sure what the game plan here. I mean, you know the team more than I do. You think they're going to start substituting a five minutes or a little less than that? Um gonna guess here in the next minute or so they'll start substituting people out yeah it is it is kind of a close game but three goals in five minutes Diego fighting for the ball ref calls a foul he calls it on Diego so the Cardinals have two upcoming games this week we have the we have Aurora or Huskies and then we got Lexington yeah, so Lexington will be the other big test for them. Yeah. Uh, both Skyler and Lexington are ahead. The ref, uh, they called a uh, handball, I think, in the box. Yeah. Let's check the play here, the replay. And they called something. He we had the replay up here, but. But what I d this this ref, the main ref, the center ref is really good at, at keeping control of a game. So showing those yellow cards, I think he was trying to show them, hey, we need to keep this under control. And knowing when to let him play, too. Alvarez will put... Sends it forward. His, his dad is the director of uh, referee, the referee association and of Nebraska. Giving him some respect, because as well, this week marks the officials' appreciation week for the N NSAA. That is a good segue into that. Good job. You get an A-plus just for that. <laughs> I got the fir my first A-plus, guys, after not getting one my last year and freshman year. Freshman year, I think the highest I scored was like a C-minus. Ball goes out of bounds. They got a substitution for the Warriors. It'll be a corner kick for them. 447 remain. I think, is that number six for the Warriors? Masa Ibro? And then we got another substitution of another goalie. I think we're going back to the original. Oh, no, never mind. That is not the original. Um, I can't see the number, so I'm not sure. Yeah. But Skyler switched goalkeepers again. Ball goes out. A little push here from Oscar, trying to get the ball back. Lester with a swing and a miss there. And then Carlos is able to clear it all the way past midfield. Juan goes out to races and ball gets dropped off to the goalkeeper. Yeah, it is the original one. 31, Luis Carrera. It looks like 91. 91. That's not on our sheet. Nope. Yeah, I just saw the one. I couldn't see the first number. And so it's a nice little flick there. Diego is able to get the ball. Tries to get it to Juan. Gets deflected off of number 12 for the Warriors, Dani Pedro. It'll be a throw-in for Cardinals. Cardinals with the throw-in to Oscar. Oscar fighting for the ball. Gets dispossessed. And then the Warriors go on the attack here. They got numbers. Can't Emmanuel wins out. the race, uses his body to shield. Good play there by Emmanuel, using his body to prevent further further action. You see number 21 onto the races there. I'm not sure if Coach is just trying to play it just to keep the clean sheet, but I, I'm not sure why he hasn't substituted 
because substitutions would run some of the clock down just a little yeah. bit. I think after the, um, it might be the new rule that once you're in the five minute or two minutes, you can't substitute, like I have to stop the clock for each substitution. I'd have to read up the rules. Yeah, I, I think they're just going to stick with what they have right now. Since so here we, we get a corner here, which they need just need to take their time. And somebody other than Carlos should take the corner just in case the referee deems that we're wasting time. It's not Carlos that gets a yellow card. So, number 11, Enzo and Carlos have the yellow card, right? Yep. Skyler is able to clear it. Saves the ball from before going out of bounds. And between Enzo and Carlos are able to steal the ball. Enzo with possession, send it forward. Oh, oh. that was a nice, nice idea there by Oscar. It's just a little too hard of a kick. Yeah, just a heavy, heavy pass. Juan was there, just couldn't get the connection. At number 23 for the Warriors coming in, Minor Hernandez. Referee calls a foul on Crete. It'll be a free kick. Minute and a half left. Wow. Mm. Nice little bit of skill there, showing off for the fans. <laughs> you heard the fans, wow. Ooh. Christopher tries to clear the ball. Juan's able to bring it down. Gets the ball gets off kicked one. off of him, so yep. it'll be a throw in. One minute left. And it looks like Creed will come out with that win. So hopefully still keep the clean sheet. We still got a minute there. Yep. And they called a foul on Skyler. So for that kick to the or a knee to the head on uh Diego. So while we got the downtime, we could just give a overall recap of this game. First first half we saw an equal matchup. It was 0-0, and then we come into the second half. We start seeing more tension arise. We see players getting more slide tackles, aggressiveness. We saw players trying to go at 100%. But in the end, the Cardinals were able to pull up three goals. I think one was from Alfredo. The second one was from – who was the second one from? I think that was the one we didn't pay attention I, we, to. I couldn't see if – who was the one that got the head on the ball. Yeah, that that one was the one where we were talking about the numbers. Yeah, uh, that's the end. So, yep, that marks the end of the game. The Cardinals pull off the win here, 3-0 in an anticipated match. So the Cardinals will go 5-0, and getting a huge win. They'll play Aurora next yep. here so at home, and it'll be at the Cardinal track. So they're able to capitalize this win of this season. It's a big a big pivotal win for the Cardinals to prove that they have the power to go far into the season. And we'll see how the game goes in against Aurora and Lexington these next two games. Well, that's all from here. That's all from here. We wish you a very good night. I'm Sergio Ortiz. And I'm Jorge Paredes. We wish you a good night.